Yo, what is up? It's your boy AM coming to you with an AM vlog. And today, what I'm gonna be talking about is systems. I know that sounds very vague. Um, it may not sound very interesting, but I think it's pretty cool the way I kind of approach things in life and how I develop these systems to kind of like make my life a little bit more easier. And what I'm gonna share with you today are several examples of these things because I think they're pretty cool. And I think they're pretty interesting. So one of the things that I think about a lot all the time is like, you know, how do you save money to do the things that you want to do? I think the best part of life is like having these wonderful experiences. And in order to have cool experiences, you need to have some money to do so. And a lot of times, you know, you can take two different approaches of it, right? You can just forget about all of your finances and just go into debt and have a lot of fun. And then you'll have to pay for it later. Or you can just save up all your money and then have the experience later in life. But there's got to be a nice equilibrium where you can do both at the same time. And so that's what I typically do in my life to kind of figure that out. And the approach that I come from is mainly from like a gaming perspective because I think about systems and the way that games are developed. Every video game you play has a set of rules and guidelines that you have to follow. And if you want to be really good at the game, you have to figure out how to like manipulate the system so that you can have an advantage. Not necessarily breaking the rules because I don't think that's right. You know, I don't condone cheating in games because I think that's terrible. Because like, why would you want to take the easy route when you can, you know, perfect a skill set that makes you better than the average player? And so that's the way I, uh, I'm approaching the things in life as well. It's just like, how do you gamify things, create these systems that you can take advantage of them? And so I'm gonna give an example of some of these things and I hope you enjoy them because I think they're pretty cool. And I don't think I'm particularly right when it comes to this subject. I think there's very many ways that to, to approach it. So uh, as you can see in all these vlogs that I've shared over the many years that we've been doing this, I have developed these systems or like these, these kind of like vlogs I've shared about my approach to like my own personal life. And I don't kind of go in depth explaining those. I kind of hint at them, but this is kind of more of like a behind the scenes type of vlog where I kind of rant about, about like the real purpose behind them. As you saw in a previous video, which I'll put the link up here, um, I personally started to be more minimalist in my clothing, minimizing all the stuff I wear to like just the bare essentials. That means that I'm confined to only having those things. And that means that whenever I see something that I want to buy, I don't buy it because it doesn't fit into that system. And that's cool because I end up saving money. When you come to like financial things, typically you think of money, you think of it going up or going down having some or not having anything at all. That approach is really hard to kind of like figure out ways to like save money because you're just thinking about a number going up and down. That's not very helpful. And what you have to do, or what I personally do is just gamify it. Think of it as like a unit. And so I think about my clothing as like, if I minimize my clothes to the bare essentials, that means that I cannot buy any other thing that I think is cool that I may only wear once. I'm just sticking to the bare essentials. And what that means is that if I see anything that's awesome and cool that I wanna buy, I end up not buying it because it doesn't fit into that system. And then that money that I did not spend at that time, I save. And it becomes a pretty cool thing because then you see your bank account go up. If you're an RPG, you know you have to have a, a very cohesive party to be able to be really successful in defeating the boss because you have to have you know various pieces. You have to have the attacker somebody that does massive damage. But you also gotta have to have a healer, somebody that's there to like keep your stats and boosts up. And then you may need to have another person that's like, you know, to provide, you know, shields and things like that. And that's how you would approach things in life. Well, that's how I approach things in life, which is gamifying those types of things. And that's just like one example when it comes to like finances. And this other example that I'm gonna share with you is gonna be pretty cool because this is gonna be like a more of a visual component, which I think is pretty awesome. And it's something that I developed years ago. And now people are finally catching up and figuring out like this is a need that needs to happen. Before I go into more details about it, let me just share that with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.
All right, so what we have here is our light and this cool little stand that you got here. This is a stand that's made by Elgato and has an arm that extends up and then it has a camera attached to it. Um, this is the kind of camera that we typically use in our AMPM studio. So let me turn the light a little bit so we can get a better look. Okay, so we have this cool little light here and then we have this camera here. And what's particularly cool is that this little stand came into fashion about a year ago. But what's really interesting is that I already developed this stand years and years ago, as you can see here. Look at that, that's crazy. So I ended up building this thing, which is kind of like a mm, replica, not replica, but the prototype to this cool Elgato stand that I have here. Um, when I got into making YouTube videos, you know, content creation wasn't as big of a thing as it is now. Everybody's a content creator. I've always been a person that's in love with video. I went to school to study it and I always wanted to make, you know, movies and things like that. And so um, as the years progress and, you know, people started making more content, they started making equipment dedicated to that. And so I ended up purchasing this little Agato stand here to hold our cameras. And it's a really elegant, little setup it has these little gimbals here on the side that you can adjust and you can tilt the cameras any way you want and and then the lights and all that kind of stuff i'll just give an example right here to show you that so if you want to put it down do that and then you have it set to the bottom and then you can just turn it on as such so there you go you have a bright light but what's cool is that i end up developing this particular thing way before that so this little gimbal is basically the same thing as that, except I made it years and years ago. Um, I always wanted to have a stand that worked on our table, and I looked online everywhere trying to find it, but I couldn't. And so I, what I ended up doing was I bought all of these um, audio equipment, and I just kind of like modded them out until something that you see over here that somebody built years later that's more you know refined and elegant but this is kind of a crude version of it and so i bought these microphone goosenecks here as you can see and then i would put on these little camera adapters on it and then i would mount my cameras on there and then that's where i would whole have it being held and i can adjust it and maneuver it as such and then i would put the light here if i wanted to or i would put another light on here and then this thing's easily moved around stays in place it's weighted at the base and all of that and so this little device here was like a system that i realized i needed to have in my own life and i knew that it was difficult to find somebody that was forward thinking like that. It was just people at that time wasn't really expecting to make content um, as much as they do now. And so it wasn't, a, it wasn't something simple as this where you can just buy and purchase. So I ended up having to develop it. And it just became this thing where I just ended up developing all these crazy things for the AMPM studios. And so I was finding a, a, a need that I had in trying to figure out a system or like gamifying it to be able to make something that was useful. Uh, fortunately for me, this little stand has finished doing its job and I have this really new one and cool one as we level up in the AMPM studios, um, which is cool because it's a sign of growth, right? And so that's pretty awesome. The easier that you, you can set up a, a, a system within your own studio to make content, the easier it is to actually make content because you're not worried about having the proper tools or proper setup to get the video going. Uh, and then it also helps, you know, PM understand like, you know, okay, this is where the camera goes, this is where this goes. And so if she wants to jump on the video, she can just like get the actual device and then plug and play and get going. Um, when you don't have those type of things, you, it becomes pretty daunting to actually like start shooting stuff. So this is just like a visual representation of a system I built and just kind of a way to gamify it. And it's cool because I thought of this ahead of time. All of these components here are for like audio equipment, but I end up modifying it for like video, <laughs> which is cool. And now that they have a whole market for that, which is right here. And so this pole here is a lot better and more adjustable and easier to use as opposed to this thing. Um, but yeah, I thought that was pretty awesome, pretty cool. Another visual representation of the things that I'm talking about.
Thank you for taking this journey with me on this cool vlog. And I hope you enjoy the topic of systems. I thought it was pretty interesting subject to cover. Um, it's kind of hard to describe because a lot of these things that I'm talking about are very abstract. And I hope fully that by seeing this little stand um, that I built is a perfect representation of that because I feel that it was very unique and you know, forward thinking of me to to figure out a need that I had in my own life as, as a YouTuber and to make a, a device that fit those needs and develop a system that worked perfectly fine. And then years later, somebody came along and made a product that was exactly what I envisioned, but just, you know, refined it and made it better. And now I feel a little long-winded going and talking about all of this, but hopefully that helps you. And if you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And other than that, I give you peace.